Hello friends, welcome, welcome to our channel Chemistry Crafters with Banu and I am Arun Kumar. Today we are going to discuss how to increase the thickness of liquid detergent. First of all, let us discuss what are the materials commonly used for to thicken the liquid detergent. Many materials are available. Some of them are carbomer, sandan gum, guar gum, HPMC, polyacrylic acid and so on. Today we will see by using HPMC how to increase the thickness of liquid detergent. For HPMC the full form is hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose. This is cheap and most commonly being used material for to thicken liquid detergent. Either we can directly add the HPMC to liquid detergent or we can add HPMC to water and then we can use it. We can dissolve HPMC in cold water or we can dissolve HPMC in 60 to 70 degree hot water or we can add HPMC in 80 degree hot water or we can add HPMC in boiling water or we can add HPMC in boiling water and then cooling followed by mixing of extra some amount of cold water. So many methods are available. Actually it is not methods, these are all strategies to utilize HPMC. For 1 liter of liquid detergent, by using 2 grams of HPMC, we can increase the thickness. For 1 liter of liquid detergent, by using 4 grams of HPMC, we can convert the liquid detergent into gel form. Suppose if our formula is very simple, that means only 1 or 2 raw materials are present in our formula, then by using 5 grams of HPMC, we can convert that liquid detergent into gel form. Now we will discuss the method. In this method, today we are going to use 2 grams of HPMC for 1 liter of liquid detergent. So we are going to increase the thickness. So to dissolve 2 grams HPMC in 1 liter of water, the 60 to 70 degree temperature is best method. Friends, this is the formula and keep it in your mind. In 100 ml of water at 60 to 70 degree temperature from 0 0.5 gram to 1.5 gram HPMC will dissolve instantly without forming any clumps. We can convert this formula as per our requirements for any number of liters. For the example, to prepare 1 liter of thick liquid detergent, we need to add 2 grams of HPMC. So, this formula will become like this. I mean, in 150 ml of water at 60 to 70 degree temperature, we can add 2 grams of HPMC. So, this 150 ml water is either we can take from process water or we can add it as extra water. But in case of adding extra water, our yield will increase simultaneously the performance, washing performance will decrease. And one more conversion we will do. For 50 liters of liquid detergent, if we want to increase the thickness, then we have to take 7.5 liters of water and we have to heat it 60 to 70 degree temperature and then we have to add 100 grams of HPMC. Now we will do one lab trial batch. I have a 600 ml of liquid detergent. For 600 ml liquid detergent, 
I am converting this formula as like this. I am taking 100 ml RO water. I am eating 60 to 70 degree temperature and then I am adding 1.2 grams of HPMC. That is 0.2% when comparing the total amount of liquid detergent. This is our liquid detergent as per our formula. The consistency is comparable with any branded liquid detergent. Even though marketing purpose, we can increase its thickness and glassy appearance. You see the color of our liquid detergent. Generally liquid detergents are available only in blue color, but various blue colors are available. This is one of the blue color and slightly green color. By adding one or two drops of detergent violet color, I can change its color to any desired color. Now the color is changed. So the point is we can make any desired color in liquid detergent. Now stove is ready. I have taken a broad stainless steel vessel. This is 100 ml of RO water and 0.3 ml of preservative. I have mixed Pinoxy ethanol. If the thickening process is integrated in our manufacturing process, then one time preservative addition is sufficient. But I have prepared liquid detergent few days back. So now I am adding extra as HPMC. So in this water, I need to mix some amount of preservative. Now I have charged 100 ml water in this stainless steel vessel. This is 1.2 grams of HPMC. Switch it on the stove. Now it is getting heated. Just 100 ml water only. So within few seconds it will reach 60 to 70 degree. If thermometer is available, by using thermometer, we can check its temperature. But I am just by means of the physical appearance, uh, air bubbles will start to come out at a 70 degree temperature slightly. So based on that, I am stopping the stove. Now I am going to mix the HPMC in this hot water. Now I will take out the camera so that we can clearly see what is happening inside the vessel. You see here, I am not charging the HPMC in a single stroke. I am evenly spreading the HPMC over the surface of the hot water. So within few seconds, by simple agitation, instantly the HPMC will dissolve without forming any clumps. Now the mixing process is over. We are having clear, transparent, completely dissolved HPMC in water. Here the point is at 60 to 70 degree temperature, this is completely soluble and also it is in liquid state. So in this hot state, in this liquid state, we need to transfer this HPMC into the liquid detergent and then we need to stir it properly. Here the mixing process is very important. So the role of blenders, I mean without blender, it is not possible to mix thoroughly. So manual process is not possible. In case of large quantities, the RPM of the blender is also very important factor. Now the mixing process is over. We will allow to settle it for 24 hours. Now it is after 24 hours. We will check its clarity and consistency. It's clear, transparent and uh, the thickness has improved. Now we'll compare this liquid detergent with yesterday's liquid detergent. I mean without adding the HPMC, I have taken some sample. So this is the consistency of the liquid detergent without adding HPMC. 
This is the same formula with addition of 2 grams of HPMC in 1 liter of liquid detergent. So for 0.2% addition of HPMC, this much amount of thickness will improve. You can see the glassy look. And one more thing, we will compare our liquid detergent with uh, Surfexel. This is the thickness of the Surfexel. This is the thickness of our liquid detergent increased with HPMC. Now we will compare both the liquid detergents. The Surfexel color is uh, more or less similar to that of our initial color. Otherwise, both are clear and transparent and ours liquid detergent is a little glassy look. And one more point, this is our liquid detergent, freshly prepared liquid detergent. So after 50 days, after one month, there is a chances to increase little extent of thickness. If we add 4 grams of HPMC in 1 liter of liquid detergent, then our liquid detergent will become like gel, like this. We will see this method in our another video. Now, I have 2 liquid detergents. In 1 liquid detergent, I have added 2 grams of HPMC and I have increased the thickness. In another liquid detergent, I have added 4 grams of HPMC and converted into gel state. Now we will discuss which one is better. I have taken two T filters, both are having equal mesh size. First, I am pouring the gel. It takes time to getting through. In case of this liquid detergent, you can see, it is easily getting through. Within few seconds, twice the liquid detergent is here. Now you can ask one question, what is the need or necessary to filter the liquid detergent through T filter? Just for simple understanding, I have mentioned T filters. Actually the concept is totally different. Well, just imagine the washing process uh, apart from the amount of the quantity of liquid detergent what we are using and the capacity of the washing machine we will consider a common dilution factor i mean 60 ml of liquid detergent in 10 liter of water in washing machine washing machine tub so this is the concentration or this is the dilution which is going to interact with dirt on the cloths. So this is active concentration. If the concentration is too thin, then liquid detergent will not tend to stick over the surface of the cloths and washing performance will decrease. If it is too thick, then that liquid detergent will not penetrate to the inner structure of the fabrics. So again, washing performance is problematic. So, to get the maximum washing performance, we need to maintain the correct concentration, optimum concentration in liquid detergent. Now, let us discuss what is the optimum concentration for liquid detergent. No need to go for any technical discussion, just logically we can understand. In supermarkets, we have seen uh, many brands, many branded liquid detergents. So, what is the concentration they are maintaining? Maybe that is the optimum concentration for liquid detergent. But uh, one point we need to understand, if our liquid detergent is uh, gel type, then in uh, rural areas, then uh, the marketing becomes uh, easy. Finally, those who are interested in increasing the liquid detergent can do one or two liters trial batch. If they are confident with this process, they can utilize this process for their business purpose.